So let's start with the facts. A great nation does not hide its history. It faces its flaws and it corrects them. These monuments celebrate a fictional sanitized confederacy, ignoring the death, ignoring the enslavement, ignoring the terror that it actually stood for. And after the Civil War, these monuments were part of that terrorism, as much as burning a cross on someone's lawn. They were erected purposefully to send a strong message to all who walk in the shadows about who was still in charge in this city. And it is a searing truth. There is a difference, you see, between remembrance of history and the reverence of it. We cannot be afraid of the truth, which is that the Confederacy was on the wrong side of humanity. It is self-evident that these men did not fight for the United States of America. They fought against it. A piece of stone, one stone, both stories history, one story told, one story forgotten, or maybe even purposefully ignored. This is the moment when we know what we must do, when we know what is right. We cannot walk away from this truth, and more importantly, choose a better future for ourselves, making straight what has been crooked and making right what was wrong. History cannot be changed. It cannot be moved like a statue. What's done is done. The Civil War is over. The Confederacy lost. And we're better for it. Surely we are far enough removed from this dark time to acknowledge that the cause of the Confederacy was wrong. We are better together than we are apart. Indivisibility is our essence. We are proof that out of many, we are one and better for it. Out of many, we are one and we really do love it. This is not just about statues, this is about attitude. And it's about behaviors as well. If we take down these statues and don't change to become a more open and inclusive society, then all of this would have been in vain. And it is long overdue. In our blessed land, we come to the table of democracy as equals. That is why we reclaim these spaces for the United States of America, because we are one nation, not two, indivisible with liberty and justice for all, not some. We are all part of one nation and pledge allegiance to one flag, the flag of the United States of America. So now is the time to come together, to heal, and to focus on our larger task. The Confederacy was on the wrong side of history and humanity. It sought to tear apart our nation and subjugate our fellow Americans to slavery. This is a history we should never forget and one that we should never, ever again put on a pedestal to be revered. With malice towards none, with charity for all, with firmness in right as God gives us, let us strive on to finish the work that we are in, to bind up the nation's wounds, to do all which may achieve and cherish a just and lasting peace among ourselves and with all nations. And with all nations.